They are biologists and entrepreneurs. They have two challenges, making heliculture or snail farming into a viable economic sector whilst protecting the most endangered species. For example, and evidently with which we've been working for a long time, the propio Iberus gualtieranus, known commonly as the name of Chapa. Local to the Sierra de Almería, it has been at risk of extinction due to out-of-control hunting in the area. The high gastronomic value of the Chapa snail has meant that their price has reached two euros for one on the black market. They are now researching how to farm them on a large scale to repopulate the species in collaboration with the authorities and in the long term, once they are no longer endangered, commercialise them. From what is Andalusia, the Peninsula Iberic, the central market, mainly fundamentally in France, and continue advancing. We do not put limits. We think that the best model of conservation of a species is because it can be exploited. But it can be exploited in terms of sustainable. Because Caracol is an animal very gracious, it takes its home to its home, and it is used in many fables, stories and stuff. In reality, they are great unknowns. Hermaphrodites, and very sensitive to changes in the ground, temperature and humidity levels, these scientists and businessmen are looking for a way to increase the snail's reproduction and size. They are several steps away. We have quite advanced what is the engorge, but we have to transport it to a large scale. This knowledge will then be applied to other, more common snail species used in Andalusian gastronomy, one of the highest consumers of snails in the world importing 8,000 tonnes each year, although mainly from Morocco. They are trying through science to drive an economic sector with a future on their own soil.